It's warfare time! You Rangers won't have a chance against me! Haha, <laughs> we'll see about that. With our new Lion Fire Fortress Orb, we'll turn you to crumbs. Ah! Water monsters! Attack! Boop, 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 boop. Yeehaw! Let's get this party started! Boop. This is epic! Oh no! There's too many of them! It doesn't matter! Brody's got this! That's right! Lionfire Megazord, ready! Ninja Spin! Oh no! It's huge! Does it have to be fired up? Huh! I think it's time to give up, Trap Saw. Never! Alrighty then. Lion Fire Slash! Final attack! No! No! Ninja Steel Rangers, we did it! Hey guys, Roberto here, and today I'm reviewing the Power Rangers Ninja Steel Lion Fire Fortress Zord. So yeah guys, so the Lion Fire Fortress Zord is this lion themed Megazord with like this Japanese like uh, like sort of architecture around him. And basically, he is probably one of the largest Power Ranger toys in my collection so far. This guy is massive, and I have him here on the floor because I can't hold him. He's, he's, he's huge. I mean, I can show it to you guys, but I'm, I'm not going to be able to carry him for that long. And, it, and there's, there's a bunch of things on him, and yeah. So, right, guys, so we'll get to him really quickly, but let's talk about the Lion Fire Fortress Sword and its backstory. Now, if you guys don't know, in Ninja, the Japanese version of Ninja Steel, the Lion Fire Fortress Sword was called Lion Howl. And I remember back in 2015, because this was like around the same time Ranger Mania had started, uh, when Ninja was airing, uh, when the Lion Howl came out, I remember people posting pictures about how huge and massive he was, and he was probably one of the biggest Megazords, or mechs, in the Super Sentai series toy line so far. I think he was, like, compared to Pyramidus from Zeo, and Pyramidus is supposedly the biggest one. So, yeah, and it was whack. And I saw some people posting pictures with, like, their cats. Like, people literally got their house pets and put them right next to this guy's Japanese version. And the Japanese version towered over the animals, and it was crazy. And yeah, so I'm like, oh, when this gets over to the United States, they'll probably make the, the Megazord smaller. And if you guys don't know that Bandai America has this thing where they love, love, love to make uh, Megazords smaller than what they usually are in America. I mean, in Japan. So usually in Japan, they release the big, this big massive Megazord, and they put paint in, and they put a bunch of features on it. And then it get, all that gets stripped away when it comes to America, and it's smaller, and it doesn't make any sound, and it doesn't make any lights, it, it doesn't do anything. So when I saw the Toy Fair photos for this guy, and they started revealing that this guy was going to be 20 inches tall, which is towering over the Japanese version, which is already big enough, they were going to make him a playset, a Zord, a Megazord, I'm like, there's no way this is going to work out. And let me tell you guys, this is probably one of the best Power Rangers toys I've bought, like, ever since I started collecting. I mean, I wasn't around for Time Force or the old days. But this is crazy. This is probably one of the best toys in my collection so far. And we're going to take a look at him today. We're going to take a look at the packaging, the toy, all his features. So let's get started. Now guys, before I start the review, I want to talk really quickly. Uh, he is very huge. I can't hold him here and show him to you guys. So I am going to have to get the camera, put it on the floor. I do have my tripod holding it, so don't worry. There's no shaking or anything. I'll put the camera on the floor and we'll be able to take a look at him and all his features on the floor though. So I won't be able to do that basic reviewing where I usually show the toy right here. I'm like, hey guys, here it is, but this guy's too huge. So if I hold him, my arms are going to start shaking and it's going to hurt. And yeah, so it's crazy. But we will be taking a look at the packaging normally, but then uh, after the packaging, we will be sitting on the floor and I'll show you guys the features and all that. He's a very huge toy. He does take up a lot of space. He has a lot of features. So hopefully the video doesn't go for an hour and hopefully we can make at least like a 30 minute video, which is it's crazy because there's so many things that it does. So yeah, but anyway guys, enough for I'm going to start taking a look at the packaging. The packaging, as you guys see, it's massive. So here, I'm, let me compare real quick to a regular Megazord packaging. This is, this is like, it takes up like half of it. 
and there's still like more space. This is crazy, guys. Look at this. And I really like the packaging for this guy because it's not that usual red. If you guys know, uh, ever since Power Rangers Samurai since 2011, they've been using the same red pattern for every single Power Rangers toy packaging. But for the first time, they finally changed that and made it like a black. And I mean, it's basic, but at least it's something different because, you know, I, I, I really, I've talked about it a million times in my past reviews how I hate the packaging for the newest seasons because it's just red and it's really annoying and ugly, I mean. Yeah, so it's really cool that they finally changed it up a bit. It's still the little red shuriken, uh, the little red, uh, not, not the red, the shuriken patterns. But at least it's black now, so I guess that's cool, I guess. And anyway, guys, so let's start taking a look at the packaging. Here it says uh, Power Rangers Ninja Steel. Here's the logo for the series. It shows you the three modes to play. It tells you it's there's Megazord mode and Ultra Megazord mode, which you can combine with other Ninja Steel Megazords. So I'll show you that. I'll show that to you guys. There's also a Fortress mode slash Sword mode because it is the basic mode. And yeah, it's over 20 inches tall. That's crazy. I think Lion Howe was around 15 inches or 10. I don't remember because I don't have the toy. I never got to buy him when he released. But I do know that he's a lot smaller than this guy. But yeah, but I don't have my candle comparison. But I will do a comparison with other Zords and Megazords in the Power Rangers toy line. Here is the Lion Fire Fortress Zord in its Megazord mode. And as you guys can see right there, the Red Ranger can actually sit on the on the mouth of the lion. And that's actually show accurate because in the Ninja, I remember the Red Ranger would actually command the Zord like that by sitting there on the mouth and stuff. It was really cool. Ninja Steel will probably most likely do the same thing, so yeah. And then down here it says the biggest Ninja Steel playset. I mean, the only Ninja Steel playset because this is probably the first time that I've been collecting Power Ranger toys that they've released a, a playset for the series. Because before, they never done that, which is really cool. And I mean, it's not, I don't really consider it a playset. It's more just like, like a Megazord that's really huge. You can just put figures on it. But they kind of made it look like a playset, which I kind of like. I dig it. But hopefully, I mean... If this thing sells well, I hope that they start releasing more places for Power Rangers toy lines because I remember I've seen pictures of, of past Power Rangers toy lines where they released playsets for like Wild Force and Time Force, and there was like these really cool looking playsets. This is more of a Megazord, but it's kind of cool that they they made the playset. But hopefully they release like another playset, maybe for the next year series for Super Ninja Steel or whatever. And down here it says Lion Fire Fortress Zord, and then down here a little red. Uh, this is a black black little lettering that says Red Ranger sold separately so you it does not come with the Red Ranger it just shows you that you can combine them with that and stuff down here is the Bandai logo ages 4 and up this is a Toys R Us exclusive so far you can't get it anywhere else I had to buy it online from Toys R Us and yeah the other side just shows the rest of the Megazord and yeah the other side uh, on, the, on the right shows you the three modes and how they look there's Megazord mode uh, there's a uh, Ultra Megazord mode which you can combine with the other Zords and Megazords, and then there's Fortress mode, which is the Zord mode, which you can make it look like a playset. Really nice. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the Yellow Ranger is included like twice. Like they should have probably made the Gold Ranger command this, because the Gold Ranger is technically in the show now. So I don't know why they made they added two gold Yellow Ranger figures. That's that looks dumb. And yeah, the top is the Ninja Steel logo. The bottom is random information, and then the back is just telling you the same thing it told you on the other side about how the modes look and all that stuff. I'm not gonna go through detail with all this because it's a lot. So if you guys want to pause the video and just take a look at the little cool pictures that they have, really nice. It tells you it's Megazord mode, Ultra Megazord mode, uh, you can combine it with other Megazords, etc. Same thing that we've been talking about. Now he does make sound, you can actually press the nose of the Lion Megazord and he will make sound. He doesn't do any lights unfortunately, but I don't really see any point in giving him lights. I mean, most likely the eyes would have been a really cool thing to give him uh, lights to, but that's it. So it doesn't really matter. For $100, a Megazord, a playset, all in one, it's, it's, you know, it's worth it, definitely. And yeah, guys, so that was the packaging. We're going to lay on the floor now, and we're going to act like little kids, and we're going to take a look at the toy itself, so let's go. All right, guys, so here we are. Here is the Lion Fire Fortress Zord in its fortress mode. Uh, you guys can see I have all the little Power Ranger figures lined up, and they're all posing in the big playset mode. In the back there, I don't know if you guys can see, but I have the villain in the jail cell. This guy actually comes with a little jail cell that you can put the villain figures in. I'll show you guys all the features he does. As you guys can see in the background, I do have some of the Megazords and, Meg and uh, Zords from the past Power Ranger toy lines. I do want to show that so you guys can compare with this guy. And yeah, but first of all, we're going to take a look at the Lion Fire Fortress Zord. And yeah, and then we'll do all the comparisons and all that stuff. So I'm going to have to hold my camera so I can show you guys how he looks in a closer look. So yeah, so here he is. He does roll. And yeah, and you can actually connect the figures there so they don't fall. As you guys see right here, they have like little pegs you can put the figures on. So that way when you move the, the, the Zord itself in its fortress mode, they won't fall. They're very stuck there together. The Red Ranger is right here at the bottom. Uh, I, I can't really like make my camera go any lower, so I'm just going to have to go like this. But you guys can see the Red Ranger is there uh, basically piloting the, the Zord itself. 
And yeah, you guys can see the Japanese um, sort of architecture that he has, the look. This guy is supposed to look like a, like a huge Japanese like castle, I guess you could say. And then Ninja, that's what they were going for. So most likely that's what they're doing in Ninja Steel 2. Here in the back, you can see kind of the machi machinery looking thing and then architecture. It's a really cool looking uh, mix of all these different things and it's really nice. And yeah, you can have the figures there posing. The the yellow and white rangers are there, like they're holding like these blaster thingies. I don't know if these things shoot out because I put them there and I've tried to take them off, but they don't come out. Like I don't know if I'm supposed to press a little button or something like that. But the problem is I don't. There's no there's no button here that you can press to like have these things blast out. And you know they came disassembled, so I mean I don't know if that's for posing or if they can actually blast out. Yeah, I've looked at the instructions and everything. And it's really weird, so I don't really know what to do with these. But yeah, but you know I can't really press anything. So it's, it's really strange, I don't know. But yeah, but besides that, he looks really cool. Uh, here's the other side of him. Right here, you can see the little jail cell I was talking about earlier. You can actually open it up. Let's see if I can do that. Um, open it up, here it is. Uh, I have Trap Saw in there, or Ripper Rat, or whatever you want to call him. Because he came in the show twice, and he has like different names. But yeah, he's in there, I just got, yeah. Yeah, taking him out would be a huge hassle. But you guys can see that he's in there. I can, I'm going to close it up. You can actually put this down, and you guys can actually have it more secret. So if you don't like the jail cell thing, you can actually push it down. And you can also have like a little stand for uh, the Mega Morph copters and vehicles and all that stuff. Here's the Blue Rangers copter thingy. Really nice. It's, it's falling over, though, so I'm going to just take it off. And yeah, and here is the back. And it's just this basic plastic solid thing. Nothing really going down here. It's just the base and all that stuff. And yeah, if you guys uh, want to know what the sounds are, you can actually press the nose of the guy, of the Zord, the uh, Red Ranger Sword, just so. You can actually press the nose of the Zord, and he'll make lion sounds and fire sounds and all these different sounds. Really cool. I don't really know like how many sounds he has, cause they're all they all sound kind of the same. But you guys can cycle through it. It's a lot of sounds. Really, really cool. If you guys want to know what he looks like next to the, the Rexy from the 2015 Power Rangers Dino Charge toy line, if you guys remember, this was the biggest Zord I thought we had in the Power Rangers toy line when this guy came out. He is really, really huge, and I thought he was going to be the biggest thing we had, but now next to Rexy, the interactive one, he actually, like, he makes Rexy look like a puppy, so it's it's really nice, but it's really cool that, you know, you can have these things posing. Let me, let me get back a little bit so I can show you guys. So, yeah, here they are, compared... Rexy's a lot smaller, this guy's a lot bigger, he's a huge block of just all these amazing things. Really nice, really cool. And yeah, I will compare him to the movie Zord 2, the movie Megazord, the interactive one, in its Megazord mode though, so in the meantime, it's just Rexy here. And yeah, so that's really nice. This guy, yeah, this guy makes sound. The only thing I like about Rexy though is that he actually makes lights and sounds. I mean, I don't really see any anything they would have done with this guy to make him like, make him like light up. I mean, the eyes would have been really nice, like if they lit, lit up like red or green or stuff. But I mean, it, it doesn't really matter. I like the light, the, the sounds and stuff. I mean, they made him into a playset, which is really, really cool. So yeah, I don't think he needed a lot more things. And yeah. And guys, so I'm gonna take off all the figures, and we're gonna transform into its Megazord mode, and let's go. All right, guys. So to transform the Lion Fire Fortress Zord into its Megazord mode, it's actually a very, very easy process for such a big thing. Uh, the first thing you have to do is you just have to take off the head of the Zord mode, you're going to take off the big lion head, and then the back has these little yellow sh power stars or shurikens or whatever you want to call them, you're going to take these things off because these are supposed to be the weapons for the Megazord mode, and yeah, and then you're going to raise up the entire thing, and then yeah, you basically start seeing like all the, 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 the basic body, I'm, I'm going to have to like raise up the camera because you guys, you guys can't see, but you guys can see the basic body right there, I will hold up the camera and show you guys what he looks like next to the other guy, so just a second. You're going to take off this power star that he has here. I don't really know what to call these things. They're power stars, I guess. This is going to be the helmet, the head or whatever. You're going to get the lion head that we took out earlier. You're going to connect it right here to the chest. And you guys can see that he's basically looking like the, like how he looked in the, in the packaging and all that stuff. You guys can see the Red Ranger there commanding him. And the final last step is you get these two little uh, yellow thingies that I was calling earlier, the shurikens or whatever. And you have him hold them, and here he is. In its Megazord mode, the Big Lion Fire Fortress Megazord. Really, really cool. As you guys see, uh, he towers over the interactive Megazord from the Power Rangers movie. And I thought this was probably the biggest Power Ranger Megazord. Well, not anymore. Not anymore. It's crazy, guys. Look at this. I'm actually I'm breathing really hard because this guy is really, really large. He's very, very big. So 
holding him is, is a little hard. And yeah, that's what she said. And yeah guys, so here he is. You can have him you can have um him make sound and stuff. It's still the same basic sounds, but really, really cool. And yeah, next to the Ninja Steel Megazords, the Bull Rider Megazord and the Ninja Steel Megazord look like his children. Like this is crazy. Look. Yeah, right here you guys can see that he is a lot bigger than the Megazords. In the Ninja, uh the Lion Fire Fortress, uh the Japanese version Lion Howl. Lion Howl was around like Oh, like a little bit bigger than the Megazords. I mean, the Megazords in Japan were a lot bigger too than the Ninja Megazords. So yeah, but I can't really have a make a definite comparison because I don't have any of the the stuff from Japan. Yeah, but the Japanese Megazords were a lot bigger than uh, the ones that they are here, and then Lion Howl was a little smaller. So they did a reverse thing with Bandai of America, and yeah. Hey anyway, guys, so if you guys want to see what he looks like next to his box, let me take off the interactive Megazord. Let me put this to the side. And then here he is next to his box, which contains him. And yeah, so the box is even bigger. And if you guys don't know, I don't know where I'm going to put this because this is this is huge. I think I'm just going to have to leave this there in the back of my room. Because there's nothing else I can put. I mean, if you guys have seen my closet, I think I've showed you guys before what my closet looks like. This is where I keep all my Power Ranger stuff. I mean, look at this. Like, it's already filled up with all these different things from different seasons. So, I don't know where I'm going to put that large box. Even, like, the back. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, but, like... There's like this lower part right here where I keep all my other stuff, like my shoes and all that stuff. I mean, the other side is just closed, so I don't know where I'm going to put this big box. And I actually really like the box because you can put the toys in there and you can keep it and stuff. And yeah, so I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I definitely do want to keep it. Alright guys, so the last mode I want to show you guys is the Ultra Zord mode, which you can use the Ninja Steel Megazord and the Bull Rider Megazord. And you can make this big combination with the Lion Fire Fortress Zord. Uh, I am going to have to push all this stuff to the side, and yeah. And you can actually do a little crazy combination that I sort of came up with with a Japanese Megazord. If you guys have it, I will show you guys that later on after I finish doing the, the Ultra Zord combination. And you guys, so it's really, really easy. This The thing I like about this Lion Fire Fortress Zord is that he's huge, but he's not so complicated to transform. And yeah, so I'll show you guys. So the first thing you're going to do to do the Ultra Zord combination is you're going to get the Bull Rider Megazord. And you're basically going to disconnect the, the top part of this body. And you're only going to have his legs. And yeah, guys. So you're going to get the legs. You're going to get these little things right here. Put, put, put them in there. Disconnect the legs, too, while you're at it. And yeah, and put this down here. And then do the same thing I did with the other leg. And yeah. Next up, we get the Ninja Steel Megazord. And you take off the shield and the, the sword that he has right here. So the pieces you're basically going to use is to have the Ninja Steel Megazord's full body. No, just without the weapons. And then you're going to get the Bull Rider Megazord's two legs. And that's pretty much it, so it's really, really basic. And then next up, you're going to go to the Lion Fire Fortress Megazord, and you're going to basically twist around his entire body. Not his entire body, basically the torso part. And I'll not show that to you guys right now. Let's go. If you guys want to have the Red Ranger there, if, I mean, if you want to keep him there, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to take him off, because I don't really like that feature or whatever. You're going to close the mouth. You're going to get this part right here, this top shuriken that he has on his head. And yeah... And then, like I said earlier, you're going to move the entire body back. So, not the entire body, more the torso, Roberto. Come on, Roberto. And yeah, so here you have the other side of his, um, the back side of his Megazord mode. It's basically uh, another uh, mode for the Ultra Zord mode. And yeah, you're going to get the thing that I took off from his head, the Power Star or whatever. And you're going to put it here. So now it'll be the helmet for the back side. Looks really, really nice. Alright guys, so first up you get the Bull Rider Megazord's legs. You're going to have these yellow things going to the side. I'll show you guys right now. You basically have it like this. All right, guys. So you guys see right there that it's basically like this little, like, arms or whatever you want to call them. And, yeah, you're going to do the same thing with, you did with that one with this guy. And, yeah, so there you have it. So you basically have these, like, arms extending out or whatever. I guess they, they, they look really cool. I guess they're, like, little arms or whatever. That's what I'll call them. There's something else I can say. And then, finally, you get the Ninja Steel Megazord. And you basically put him in the seating position. If you guys remember, the Ninja Steel Megazord has articulation in the legs, which is a first for a Megazord because Megazords don't usually have a lot of articulation. And you're basically going to put him in there. Uh, there's a joint that you're supposed to connect him to, and that'll make him stay there. So in case you move the Megazord, he doesn't move out. So you're basically going to push him in there. You can't push him back, and eventually you will get the, the big click sound or whatever. But for now, he looks really, really cool there. And here he is, and it's uh, Ultra Zord mode. This is, uh, for now, I just call it the Ultra Zord mode, because there's not really anything else to call it. They haven't uh, debuted the Lion Fire Fortress Zord in Ninja Steel yet, but this is how the Ultra Zord mode looks. It looks really, really huge. Let's compare with the interactive Megazord from the movie one more time. 
put it to the side. Put it to the side. Here he is. Yeah, so you guys can see the Lionfire Fortress Megazord is towering over the interactive Megazord. Alright guys, now I'm not going to lie, this looks like a really, really cool formation. I really like the Ultra Zords. I've always liked Carrier Zords. I've always liked the way they look and how they're gigantic. And however, the only thing that sucks is that the rest of the Bull Rider Megazord, I mean, he's just hanging there. You can't really do anything with this part because, I mean, I've seen in the show of Ninja, if I remember correctly, when they did this formation, the, the Bull Rider Megazord's top part, he would actually connect to the back of this guy. But in the instructions for this American version, I haven't seen, like, I can't really see anything. I, there's no port right here that you can that can support putting this piece right back there. I mean, he's just, you know, you can't really do anything with this, so it kind of sucks. I've always liked it when Megas or Transformations or Combinations have always involved, like, literally everything, like, into one part. So, yeah, so it does suck that you can't really do anything with this piece, and yeah. Another thing is that that sucks really badly about the fact that they made this guy a lot bigger than his Japanese version was in the show when they did this tra this mode this combination oh my phone my phone just fell when they did this combination the ninja steel megas when he was sitting on here he had his legs actually went all the way down here if you guys remember in the show i mean this guy isn't as large as he is in the toy version compared to the ninja steel megazord but the ninja steel megazord is actually supposed to be a, a little bit bigger so he could actually sit and his legs could get all the way here but you know right here this looks like a little kid sitting in like the front seat of a car and his legs won't get all the way down if you guys don't understand what i mean i'll show you a picture this is from the show. This is a picture of the show. This is how the, the mode is supposed to look. And you guys can see the legs are, aren't are going all the way down. And obviously it's because this, they made the Lion Fire Megazord a lot bigger than he was supposed to be. I mean, I, I mean they probably made the size bigger because for the, the for the Fortress mode, the playset mode, so they can make the playset a little bit bigger. But it does suck that his legs don't go all the way down. I mean, it doesn't really bother me. It's just like a little nitpicky thing that I, I, I kind of understand why they, they couldn't really make it accurate like that. But I mean, at the same time, if they were going to do such a huge Megazord, they might as well would have done the Ninja Steel Megazord a little bit bigger too, but I guess, you know, life life, life sucks sometimes, I guess. Alright guys, so earlier I was talking about a secret formation that I came up with, and it's actually a formation that's only Sentai exclusive, um, most likely in Power Rangers they won't do this, but it actually involves another Megazord from another series, so I will take that out really quickly, so let's go. Alright guys, so if you, ever, if you guys ever saw the crossover uh, movie between the Ninjers and the Tokyujers, the Tokyujers are uh, a team from Super Sentai that was never introduced over here in America. They got skipped over, so that sucks. Uh, we got Ninja Steel instead, but if you guys remember, Tokyo O is a train guy. He's a train uh, Megazord. And in the movie, the, with the Ninjers and the Tokyujers, they actually made this really cool formation where they got Lion Howl, and they actually got Tokyo O, and they actually inserted him in there. You can actually... I mean, it's not really accurate to the movie, but I mean, it's the best you can do because uh, it, it looks alright, I guess. But you guys can actually have Tokyo O sitting here. You guys can actually have him look like uh, he's like uh, com uh, commanding the Lion Fire Fortress Sword. You're going to have to take out these pieces, though, because they do kind of block it out of the way. But you guys can have him here, I guess, commanding the Lion Fire Fortress Sword. It, do it looks stupid. I mean, it, it doesn't really look like anything. I mean, he's not really connected to it. If you move it, he will fall, so you guys have to be careful. But it looks really cool, I guess. You can kind of have Tokyo O commanding him there. You can extend his arms, I guess, to make it look like he's actually, like, like you know, he's doing it like the same thing as the Ninja Steel Megazord was doing, where he was actually commanding the Lion Fire Fortress Zord. He will fall. It's not a very accurate formation. This is a Japanese toy, an American toy. You can't really do anything with that. But it's just nice that, you know, you can do something that... You know, Sentai only did it, so it's really cool, I guess. Tokyo is actually one of my favorite Megazords, even though he's very blocky. He looks really, really cool. I actually really like this guy. And I guess, and that was all the modes and formations that the Lion Fire Fortress Sword can do. And that's how he looks. And yeah, guys, so finally, let's get to the final thoughts. All right, guys, so that was the Lion Fire Fortress Sword. And sit back and relax because I have a lot of things to say about this toy. This toy is amazing. If you guys don't know, I've actually wanted to place it for my Power Rangers toys for a very long time. I remember seeing pictures of back in the old days when Time Force was airing and Wild Force and all these different seasons. They would actually make playsets for the, the toys. I think the Time Force playset was like this like Time Force control center. And it kind of mirrored like the, the year 3000 and all that stuff. The Wild Force one was like this cave when it came with Princess Shayla. The Ninja Storm one was like this like truck or like this sort of like, uh, yeah, it was like a truck sort of looking thing. And then I'm gonna do the same thing, but I've always like I've always liked the fact that they made playsets back then. And I'm like, hey, wait a second, why aren't they making playsets now? And they didn't do it for Mega Force, Super Mega Force, not even Dino Chargers. Was Dino Chargers actually a really cool season that they would have made a playset with? It would have been really cool if they made like a big cave playset and it had uh, uh, 
what was his name? Keeper? I, I forgot the names of Dino Charge uh, stuff. But Keeper, yeah, the mentor of the Dino Charge Rangers. It would have been really cool if they released like a place and it was like this cave and it had the Rangers Command Center and it had a Keeper and it came with Kendall and, and the, Miss Morgan, the, the, the Pro Bowl Ranger. It would have been really nice if they did that. And they never did that. I don't know why. And they actually asked one time, I think on a... There was like a like a site. I don't remember which website it was, but they were asking like, "Oh, if you guys wanted a Dino Charge playset, would you buy it?" And I put, "Yeah," because I would honestly want a playset for my Power Rangers toys. And they didn't do one. So finally, when they did one for Ninja Studio, I'm like, "Jesus Christ, I gotta get on this!" And the second I saw the guy on Toys R Us uh, .com, I, I bought him. He was a hundred dollars, and it was a very big price for a Megazord, but he's definitely worth it. This guy makes lights. This guy makes sounds. This guy is, is a fortress. He, he's literally this playset. He has a Megazord mode. A Zord mode. It's all these different cool features packed into one, and definitely for a little kid, this this a little kid will go wow just for one of these things. I mean, I'm I'm a teenager, so you know I'm not as big on toys. While I do collect toys, I actually don't spend a lot of my time playing with them. Most of the time, I, I buy them and I do my reviews, and and then I'm working at my school, so I never have time to play with toys anymore since I'm I'm older now and I have to work on my stuff. But yeah, but if I was a little kid, I mean, I would spend all my time playing with this thing because this thing is massive and it's crazy. I mean, the the box already takes my, my attention. It's just this huge box showing all these different features. So the toy itself, it's really, really cool. Now, should you guys get it? Definitely. Like, I mean, everything I'm saying right now is definitely saying yes. Get it if you can. If you guys can afford it, then it's definitely good to always save up. That's what I did before in the past when I couldn't afford something that was a lot. I remember when this guy came out right here. This guy was like eighty dollars, and he was—he's very small for eighty dollars, but he actually does a lot of lights and sounds and stuff, so he was worth the price. However, I couldn't afford him at the time, so I started saving up twenty dollars every week. And I think by like uh, like around twenty sixteen, I was able to get him because I, I didn't really want him at first because I was like, hey, he's whatever. But after a while, I did kind of get interested in him, and he's actually really cheap right now on Amazon. You guys can actually get this Royal T Rex for like forty dollars, and he's actually on Amazon still, I think. So I'll put a link in the description below. If I do find him, if not, then he's definitely a, a bigger price now. And yeah, but he's definitely worth the price. But I'm talking about the lines already. Where is he? Here he is. I'm gonna try to hold him. Oh my God, Jesus Christ! All right, yeah, here he is. Yeah, yeah, here he is, guys. This is the guy I'm talking about. This guy is definitely worth the price. If you can, if you guys can get him, definitely grab him. He's a really cool toy. And for the holidays, for little kids, especially for Christmas, for birthdays and stuff, this guy's a really cool toy. Definitely, if I got this for a birthday or, or, or Christmas, i definitely go wild. So it's it's really it's a really, really cool Megazord and Zord and playset. And yeah. And so guys, that was my review of the Power Rangers Ninja Studio Line Fire Fortress Zord. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to make, even though it was very tiring holding this guy and trying to show you all his features. He is a really, really cool toy. He's definitely worth it. Just be careful because he is very heavy. So you know what I mean? You can, you can work out with this thing and get muscles basically in seconds, so you know. It's always really nice to have a toy that helps you either way. But but yeah, guys. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys stay tuned for a lot more videos coming up. And yeah, so this is Roberto from Rangermania. Signing up.